Today we're going to make some hillbilly bacon. So what I got is a boneless Boston butt pork shoulder. And I've taken and I have trimmed some of the excess fat off of the pork shoulder because I don't like a real fatty bacon. I'm going to take this and put it in another Ziploc bag. And that will go into the freezer for when I go to make my deer sausage. Set that aside. First thing you're going to do is get some brown sugar, half cup of brown sugar. And this time I am going to use a dark brown sugar because I like it a little sweeter. It just has a little more molasses in it. And we're going to measure out a half cup of this. Don't have to be precise. I got to be pretty close. There we go. That's going to be close enough. And we hit more. That's sweet. And then here's what you're going to need to get. This is called Morton Tender Quick. This is your curing agent. It has your salts and your nitrates in it. You're going to want to get a cup of that. So equal parts of brown sugar and Morton Tender Quick. There we go. Now I'm going to take a fork. Just combine them so you get a nice powder. You can probably do this in a food processor. You want to get them mixed good together. Okay, we're looking pretty good there. I'm going to just use my hands a little bit, speed the process up. I'm trying to get all those big chunks of sugar broken up. Get everything combined well. Uh, the best place to get that Morton Tender Quick that I'm using here, uh, if you're up there in Alaska, it's probably going to be over at that... Uh, little uh, grocery store out of Badger. I would think they would have it or at the hardware store. And just any place that they have like your canning supplies if you're going to do any uh, like ball canning jars or anything like that. A lot of those places will carry your tender quick. If not you can actually look online and sometimes find it online. But it's a Morton tender quick. It's not their sugar cure or anything like that. It's tender quick. Okay, so Kathleen got a good picture of that there for you. So, okay, I think we're mixed up pretty good here. Let me wash my hands off real quick. Okay, now I'm going to get here so you can see the pork shoulder. So what I'm going to do, they've taken and they've already kind of split it where they removed that bone. And just to make it so we have about equal lengths, I'm going to cut this thing in half and it makes it easier for the meat to cure so I've just kind of laid it open like so now what we're going to do go ahead and flip this over and put some of our cure here I'm just going to spread this on the meat Rub that, push that down into the meat. 
And make sure you get into these cracks and crannies. Get that in there really good. Good rub. Get that all on your meat there. All right. So what you're going to do then is you're going to have a big old Ziploc bag. Best thing to do is flip the inside, the top inside out. So you're not going to be putting it down over top of your zipper because then this stuff gets in the zipper and it's a pain in the butt. You can't get it shut down. So you're just going to slide that in your bag. Get the next batch going here, the other piece. Get that back. Thank you, Kathleen. in good. It's going to work on the meat and keep it cured. So that when you smoke it, you can do it at a lower temperature and not have to worry about all your bacteria forming on the meat. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. All right, just a little more. and just dump it in here on top of that already. There we go. Rub that around a little bit. Okay, now we're going to take this piece of meat and cover it in here on top of the other one. There we go. Wash my hands again before I touch that zipper. freezer, or excuse me, a refrigerator around 35 degrees for a week. You flip it every day and kind of rub it, just kind of get all that stuff moving around on that meat. And then after a week, we'll show you what we do with it. So that's the first installment of Hillbilly Bacon.